whether you're doing a group work at school, whether you're at work, or whether you're watching politics. There always is this one annoying, dumb person who thinks he's amazing. But where do those people come from and why do they exist? So today on your favorite YouTube channel, why do dumb people think they're amazing? Welcome to Brains Applied. Let's start with a little fun fact. 93% of the Americans say that they are better drivers than average. This isn't an isolated finding. There are hundreds of studies in which people rate themselves as being better at something than others. This cognitive bias is called the overconfidence effect. We feel very certain about our skills and therefore we interpret this feeling of certainty as the fact that we actually are skilled. Interesting enough, it's especially people with only very little skills that are very overconfident. This effect is called the Dunning-Kruger effect. Obviously named after the people who first researched it. David Dunning and Justin Kruger. They stated the following. Those with limited knowledge in a domain suffer a dual burden. Not only do they reach mistaken conclusions and make regrettable errors, but their incompetence robs them of the ability to realize it. Please do note the word limited. As Dunning and Kruger put it, most people have no trouble identifying their inability to translate Slovenian proverbs, to reconstruct a V8 engine, or to diagnose acute disseminated encephalomyelitis. Encephalomyel Encephalom How do you pronounce this? People do realize that they don't know anything at all about something. However, it's having little knowledge about the subject that makes you dangerous. This graph illustrates it in the best way. People with only little knowledge think they know everything, but as soon as they gain some more experience, they realize how little they actually do know. And this is why bad teachers don't know how bad they are at explaining things, as they don't know how to explain things. This is why plenty of people with only little education think they can run a country better than seasoned politicians. And this is why there always is this one person at a talent show who really isn't able to sing and who still gets mad as the jury doesn't like him. The first rule of Dunning-Kruger club is, you don't know you're in Dunning-Kruger club. The problem here is that it doesn't affect just those people, it influences everyone. A study in the Journal of Medical Education had a group of 30 junior medical officers perform several common medical procedures. To make a long story short, this graph illustrates the average confidence of the students on an interval scale of 0 to 4, with 4 meaning that they think they are able to teach the procedures to others, versus the average competence of the students according to the teacher. To make it even worse, bad decisions can influence millions and even billions of lives. Whether you're an American Democrat who watches The Daily Show or a Republican who loves Tucker Carlson, you have to admit that you and the other guys that get paid too much probably don't know all that much about climate change, the effect of minimum wages, gun control laws or immigration except for what your party has been saying for years. We should just start by being humble, realizing that reality is much more complex than we think it is, and acknowledging the fact that we probably don't know all that much. And maybe, maybe we should just leave it to the experts. And that is all I wanted to tell you today. I hope you liked this video, if you did, Press the thumbs up button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you receive a notification next week when I upload a new video. And I will see you guys later.